Good afternoon and welcome to the Scaringi Law Lunch Break. This is your time of the day to learn a little bit about the law while you enjoy your lunch. My firm handles a lot of new business formations and firearms law, and sometimes they intertwine. Firearms manufacturing and sales are big business in the U.S. In the ATF's 2017 annual report on firearms commerce, it shows an estimated 43% increase in firearms manufacturing within the past five years. In 2017, we had 137,000 federal firearms licensees. Now, that's the license you'll need to get in order to manufacture, deal, trade, import, export, export, and of course just sell firearms and ammunition in the U.S. They're colloquially known by their abbreviation FFLs. We have 6,300 FFLs in Pennsylvania. And some of you may be interested in taking your interest in or your passion for firearms to the next level by opening up a gun shop. If so, you'll need to complete the FFL application. It's a four-page application, and you'll need to pay the application fee, which ranges from $200 to $3,000, depending. For most who simply want to deal in standard firearms, the fee is $200. You will then be subject to a background check and an investigation of your intended gun shop location by the field office of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the ATF. Some common reasons for denial of your FFL application may include failure to comply with state or local laws such as zoning ordinances, evidence of previous willful violations of the Gun Control Act, or falsification of the application. If the ATF grants your application, you can begin business. The total process will take approximately 60 days from the receipt of a properly completed application. So if you have any interest in opening up a gun shop, here is a tip. First, form your limited liability entity before you complete the FFL application. That's because the FFL is non-transferable. The FFL is issued to a specific person or legal entity for one specific physical location for a specific class of operations for three years. Too often, gun shop owners uh, will fill out the FFL application in their own name. That's a big mistake. Thus, they're, they're, they're then running a gun shop as a sole proprietor, which has serious and negative liability consequences to the owner. And so now, years later, they'll come to my office because they wish to incorporate or form a limited liability company for liability, tax, or estate planning reasons. But because they applied for and received the FFL in their individual name, they'll now need to start over with the ATF if they wish to incorporate. Now, there is a way we can help you expedite this process. We form the LLC or corporation and then effectuate a transfer of the assets of the gun shop into the limited, legal, uh, limited liability entity. For a period of time, the FFL is holding two licenses, but that's okay. In the end, we surrender the original and continue the business under the new FFL in the name of the limited liability entity. If you are an FFL and you hold an FFL in your individual name, you're well advised to contact an attorney uh, to transfer your firearms business into a newly formed limited liability entity. But of course, you must do so in complete conformity with the ATF regulations. You do not want to make a mistake and have the ATF take an adverse action against your license. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, don't hesitate to give me a call at 717-657-7770. I'd be happy to help you with your incorporation of your new business entity or taking your sole proprietorship FFL and transferring it into a newly formed lim limited liability entity. Well, that's about all the time we have today for the Scaringi Law Lunch Break. I hope you learned a little bit about the law. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your lunch.